guys, welcome back. So today's video is a continuation in my liquid lipstick review series. And today is the long awaited ColourPop Ultra Matte. I actually just had to like stock my mailman. I did get a ColourPop order. These liquid lipsticks were like, Everyone was like going insane for them and I did get on the website like the minute they launched and I had had some other things in my cart I guess I completely forgot that I had them because I was looking at them and I was debating mm, do I want them or not and I managed to add one of the liquid lipsticks to my cart and all the other stuff that I had already had was in there and I tried to like remove some stuff but it wouldn't let me so I just got everything that was in my cart just so I could get it. So um, today I am wearing the highlighter in Spoon. I tried that out. I'm also trying out, trying out this Bon Voyage. Um, this is one of I think this is the lightest bronzer they have. Um, I have this Between the Sheets blush. I'm not wearing it today because these products are very creamy and I have certain brushes that I really like to use for things so it's not the easiest to get them out of the pot and onto my face. I'm not a big finger user. I have long nails. That's not what this video is for. This video is for the lipstick so. So if you guys are interested in my thoughts on those, I'll get into all that. I do like those highlighters so far. The color I managed to snag is in the color Sunday, which from the swatch videos, um, this is the only one that appeared to be a little metallic. So I'm excited for that because I do love me a bright pink lip. So just like all of my other review series guys, I've already exfoliated my lips using my Ava Anderson lip scrub and just because of some of the reviews I've heard of these, I literally scrubbed the bejesus out of my lips. Went in and moisturized with my Kaplan MD Lip 20 Balm. So quickly I'm going to remove the excess of that lip balm. Swatching this on the back of my hand, I found that Candy Yum Yum by MAC is pretty much identical to this color. So that's what I'm going to use and I'm just going to line my lips. Well, I wonder if MAC reformulated their lip liners. This is one of their newer ones and Candy Yum Yum and that went on relatively easy compared to some of them where I'm like stabbing myself in the lip. I've read very mixed reviews on these. Um, I'm going to try it like I've tried all the other liquid lipsticks because I find if I put on any of them a balm underneath and then them right on top, they slide around. It does make them transfer proof. So I don't want to do that with this. I'm going to try it again like all the others. So um, at the end of this video, I will do a kiss test to show if they're transfer proof or not. I don't want to do it in the beginning because that could mess up how they're going to wear. Now I'm just going to fill my lips in. This is a first impression on this too because I literally just got it in the mail like an hour ago. These don't have a smell. Like maybe very, very faint. Maybe like a pool. Like very faint pool smell like chemical, I guess. Okay, first off the bat, I think this color is gorgeous. It's like a really pretty reflective pink. Parts of it did dry super fast when I put it on. There is a part that was like a little thicker that's still drying, but um, these do dry fairly fast. Um, up close, I can see like a slight streakiness to it. That could have been my application, but I don't, I don't think it was. These are dry. These are very dry. These are, these are the driest things I've ever put on my lips. Which again, if that doesn't bother you, then cool. Typically the drier something is, the longer it'll last, um, cause it's not sliding around on your lips. So we'll see. Um, now I'm just going to line the outside of my lips with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in 1.0 and my MAC 195 brush, like I always do. Take some off the back of my hand so I make sure I don't have too much. If you guys have been watching this series for any length of time, you know the drill. I will not retouch these, I will not add a gloss, I will not touch my lips for the rest of the day. I will do one check-in in four hours and I will do another check-in in an additional four hours to show a total of eight hours worth of wear. I will tell you that I'm already like in some of my videos you can tell when I'm wearing liquid lipstick that I lick my lips because it's like a natural reaction when my lips are so dry and I'm talking. This is already like I mean the name says ultra matte on there they're not kidding this almost feels like it feels like sandpaper on my lips or something like I'm already wanting to like 
stick my tongue out, but I, I'm gonna leave them alone. So I'm gonna try to do um, a haul for you guys too. I am working from home today, so I need to get some stuff done before I leave for my Cosmoprof show. I did get um, a camera that I'm going to vlog the show for you guys and show you some new cool things that are coming out if my manufacturers let me film it, which hopefully they will. Um, if not, I'll at least film the show floor and the booths from afar. I did order a crap ton of makeup online lately, so I just got a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna do a haul for you guys um, a little later today. It's 11.16 right now. I will check back in in four hours with you guys. Hey guys, so it is 3.24, roughly four hours after initial application. Let's see here. Um, it has worn pretty well. I did kind of get a little bit of like cracking it felt like on the corners of my mouth. I will tell you this, this is by far the most uncomfortable lipstick I've ever worn. It is, I mean, they're called, they label them ultra matte and that is not a joke. I mean, any drop of moisture in your lips will be sucked right up. I do have like, I'll zoom in to show you the wear. A few little like flakies right here, like crumbles on the side of my lip. I can tell you, um, this may sound really weird, but I'm like almost avoiding speaking with these on because they're so dry. It feels so tight on my lips that it's not very comfortable. If you are someone that is not bothered by extremely dry products on your lips, then this won't bother you. I almost have a fear that at in another four hours when I take this off that my lips are gonna be like severely chapped because this is like that drying. Let me zoom in to show you guys the wear. Okay, if you can see right here, a little bit of flaking. It's kind of worn off right in here. It has slightly settled into the cracks of my lips, but that is not unusual wear for a liquid matte lipstick. The reviews I did see, I do want to mention that since this is the only like metallic-like finish that they have in their line so far, um, I read some people saying that they needed a couple coats of this um, to get like full opacity. I did only put one on. I was really skeptical of these going in because I've heard a lot that they're really crumbly and really cracky. Um, again, I did exfoliate my lips like I always do. Like that's never even an option. Like I don't think if I feel them think, oh maybe no, every time I wear a liquid lipstick, I exfoliate my lips and I moisturize them with an oil-based moisturizer so that way it kind of seeps in instead of just like a thick waxy balm that'll sit on top and not really penetrate so that could help um again it's been four hours so far so i have another four and i haven't eaten anything sorry ups just came and dropped off my sephora package i ordered those um that new jaclyn hill becca highlighter so i just had to open it and swatch it on my hand i haven't tried it yet I hope it works well with my skin tone because finding highlighters for fair skin girls are really a pain. We'll dive into this later. There's that little bark monster in the back. <laughs> um, proper prep is really going to make all the difference in anywhere for a liquid lipstick. I was going to do a haul video for you guys in between here, but I'm not going to lie. I find this very uncomfortable to speak with and... I hate to sound like a baby, but it's like really uncomfortable. Like it's kind of painful. It almost feels like if you were to paint like, what this feels like to me is like glue. Like if I were to paint nail glue on the top of my lips and kind of let that set and then I were to try to speak, it would be like kind of pulling and cracking. I don't, I don't really know how else to describe it. Um, Real quickly, I'll give you um, a few comparisons. So to the Anastasia Beverly Hills, you are getting the same amount of product, which is 0.11 ounces. Um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, don't these colors look pretty together? <laughs> this Anastasia Beverly Hills is 20. Um, color pops are $6. Lime Crime Velveteens that I love, you only get 0 .0, 0.088 ounces so um this out of all of them you get the least amount of the lime crime is twenty dollars and then the dose of colors i have to check how many ounces you get i'm not quite sure 
but um, these are 20. I think out of all of the liquid lipsticks, I'm pretty sure the Dose of Colors ones, you get the, the most amount. And those are all in the $20 range. So um, you can get three of these for one of all of those others. What I'm gonna say is typically, I mean, a lot of times you are paying for a name brand. You know, if you buy something Chanel, I mean, they are quality made products, but you are paying for that name. Now, something like this, if I was to compare this to any of the other liquid lipsticks for formula wise, I would compare it most to the Lime Crime Velveteens because it goes on the same way. I wouldn't describe this as creamy. Like these are kind of creamy. The Anastasia ones kind of go on like creamy, like a mousse. These go on just very like liquid and they kind of like melt right onto your lips. Typically when a product is less expensive, like let's compare these two. I was looking on the ColourPop website to look at some of the ingredients they have. A lot of them are emollients and things to make spreadability easier. When a product is missing some lip conditioners in there though, like synth synthetic beeswax, like these Dose of Colors ones are very, very comfortable to wear and these do contain synthetic beeswax in these matte lipsticks, which is one of the like conditioning agents that makes it comfortable to wear and it makes it really creamy and spreadable. When you're only paying $6 for a product, I'm not saying it can't be amazing because $6 products can be amazing, but if you put them up against other products in their category, you have to kind of question why. How can they afford to make this one so much cheaper than all these other kind of like indie brands? And that's not like a Chanel or Tom Ford. Why? And I did not see very many like hydrating, skin nourishing, high quality ingredients on the ingredient list on here. And it's very simple. If you ever question anything, you can go and look up individual um, ingredients to see what they are, what they're used for. There are tons of cosmetic websites that will tell you. Well, I do think this color is beautiful. Um, on my lips, I, I think it looks a lot better probably than it does on camera. I find it to be pretty, but like if I were to try to give this another layer, I bet I would get like that true color out of the vial. Not to be a baby about them, but it is literally all I can do not to put a lip balm over the top of this or like a gloss. Like this is not comfortable for me. I'm covered in tattoos, so I have a pretty high pain tolerance and I can be uncomfortable. My lips are one of those things though that like right in here as it starts to get dry is like really uncomfortable and I just wanna put chapstick on. And you could see kind of on the inside right there where it was wearing away. Um, nothing outlandish though. Um, I was expecting it to be like a completely crumbly and weird. Again, from what I'm starting to learn from a lot of these companies is the lighter the color, the more like cracking, caking, crumbling you can get. Jeffree Star, the velour look, I had like the worst time with. I did not like that and everyone told me it was because it was a lighter color. So I ordered actually um, the blue velvet one, which I'm going to do like a take two review where I'm going to give things another chance that I really didn't like and see if that one works any better for me. So possibly maybe the ones that people were talking about were like crumbling and cracking. Maybe those are like the lighter colors because I know a lot of people like wanted that midi and different colors like that. So we'll see. Um, again, I will tell you this. I will never be wearing this again without a gloss or something over the top because I don't find this comfortable. It almost feels like if I were to open my mouth too big or something that it would like crack and tear. I don't know. We'll be back in another four hours to check in with you guys. Okay guys, so it is 7.18, roughly eight hours after application. I have my lip balm on standby. No, just no, no. These have been the most uncomfortable thing I've ever worn on my lips. I'm going to zoom in to show you the wear. Right here guys, again, I haven't eaten. I just had a Starbucks with a straw. It's getting patchy right here. It's completely gone. I did do a haul video and so I was talking more. 
as soon as I started like talking, I was working from home, so I was returning a lot of emails and I was setting up some presentations. So I wasn't really speaking, my mouth wasn't moving around that much, and since it was so dry, I was kind of like avoiding it to tell you the truth. Once I did the haul video, my mouth was moving, and obviously, you know, your lip, the inside of your lip is gonna get a little wet. This wear started happening. I've never wanted to rip my lips off my face more than I do right now. Like it's it's bad so what I'm gonna quickly do is I'm going to touch it up to see if as you wear them if you want to touch it up I mean I honestly don't ever want to put this stuff on my lips again but I'm going to first let me see um, if they are kiss proof so right here nothing on my hand I do have a little bit of pink in here but not much pretty kiss proof it could have just been kind of where the inside of my lip was wet so let's see if these layer I'm like really regretting this. I don't want this on my lips anymore. Not well. You can see all this flaking and patchy. I'm now gonna put some lip balm on when I talk to you guys. Can't take this anymore. This is like, oh, thank God. <laughs> it feels a little better, but I really just need to take these completely off and never touch them to my face again. I have some staining on my lips. Again, I've been wearing them so long. I feel so much better. Lips are going to be looking crazy, but at least they feel better. For those of you keeping score, I'm going to leave an updated uh, ranking right here on the side. Um, now it is a total of nine that I have tried. My bottom three are brands that I never want to try again, but my um, Jeffree Star, I did buy one more. This is in the blue velvet that I'm going to give a take two review on um, because I heard that the darker colors are better so I am going to try this one more time. Reason that ColourPop is not the last because this is the the most uncomfortable lipstick I've ever worn is because I did get about three hours worth of very uncomfortable wear but wear like it wasn't transferring all over my face like Anastasia did. It wasn't immediately flaky. It wasn't immediately patchy but these are not in it for the long haul. The, like the Jeffree Star, I didn't even get two hours of wear before it was like flaking and crumbling on me. I mean, at least this I got like three hours, although it was very, very uncomfortable. I do love that color. I think it's very like metallic and beautiful, but let me give you more options if you like that color pink. Uh, I would do a LA Splash over that, um, the Stila El Malfi. I would do Kat Von D, um, which one is this? Backstage Bambi and the two best ones. I mean, if you want a, an awesome pink that's long wearing, go get yourself the Dose of Colors Pinky Promise or get yourself the Lime Crime Pink Velvet. I mean, this, I mean, I love these. I, I just love every one of the Dose of Colors. They're all very consistent. They're so comfortable. You forget that they're on your lips. They have some kind of like comfort level to them. Unlike, I mean, this felt like I just like ground up glass and rubbed it on my lips. <laughs> like I don't, I don't know. I, I just, this is not good. Some people have said that they've experienced different things with different colors. Um, at this stage in my life, I'm more about quality over quantity. Like I do understand that for the price of most of these other liquid lipsticks that are in the $20 range that you could have three of these, but that's three lipsticks that I would never wear. I mean, it'll just sit in my drawer. So what's the point? I would rather have saved up for like the $20 dose of colors and have something that I adore that lasts me a really long time and that I'm comfortable and confident in that I don't have to worry is flaking or like I'm going to cry at any minute because my lips are like cracking. And I mean, you don't have to take that jump all the way to the $20. I mean, these Sephora brand lip cream stains are amazing. And uh, granted, I have it in polished purple, but I know that they have other colors. They have like a strawberry color too. I would totally get these. I mean, this is like two of two of these is one of these, but these will be so much better and more comfortable to wear. Will I buy these again? Fuck no. No. No, no, just no. I'd like to say that I would give this a take two review where I try a different color, but I can tell you I don't think I could make it through a full eight hours again with this on my lips. I read some people's reviews that they say that that like ultra drying matte lip doesn't bother them. Um, again, for all of the choices that are out there on the market, I'm like, why am I gonna torment myself? It doesn't make any sense. My advice would be if you're like dead set on trying these, 
buy one. Like when they come back in stock, buy one because I will be amazed at how many repurchases they have on these. Like that's the true test of a really good quality product is sell through, right? So maybe you could place a million of these, but if no one buys them again, that means nobody really liked them, you know, or so if it's all just like a big explosion, like a poof, everybody wants them, buy, 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 and then they're like, oh, these suck. Well, they sold through the first big batch of them, so who knows? I mean, I I, I can't think of, I, I don't know. I feel like the person that would really like be swear by these and love them would have to be a masochist. If you guys have had a different experience, I know some people have said to put like a balm or Vaseline underneath or fill in with lip liner, but I'm just like, again, I understand it's not like a super expensive product, but it's like for all the products that you need to buy to make these work and the time investment and you know, looking crazy three hours after you put them on, it's like, what's the point? Like, get the $20 one, just get the $20 one. My tip would be don't buy them or give them to somebody you hate so their lips could be in pain. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.